wanted to pop on here again. Um, so I'm working on some ways of dealing with triggers and um, an anger worksheet from my counselor. Um, I wanted to do a little mini meditation for myself as much as anyone else. I, I mean, I want to do it with everyone else. So think of a mild to moderate anger scene that you had with someone. by using um, some deep breathing so maybe we can go in four, hold four, and out for six. Let's try that. And the last one. Once you've relaxed, visualize the first anger scene at a moderate to mild level. Try to see it as much detail as possible, hear what is being said, even intensify your anger response with some of your triggered thoughts, keep at it, letting your anger rise as much as possible. skills again and bring up some anger coping thoughts um, so I've written some down here can use um, I'm gonna stay cool and try to make no judgments I know I am a good person I'm gonna keep my opinions I can cool off and see this, set this as a future goal, come back to it after having space. No one is right, no one was wrong. We have different needs. There is, there must be a healthy middle ground. Figure out. I can focus on my desires and preferences and needs. Try to think through what the inner child or desires and preferences is the other, the other person is. And how often does this really happen? Are there any exceptions? Ex uh, exceptions I can find. I'm guessing one possibility, but there are probably other reasons for their behavior. I need more facts and more reasons. I need to check my assumptions with the person or with that person and with the counselor. Guessing motives. There must be alternative expl explanations. I can describe the person as a whole and what bothers me specifically. This is annoying, but this will pass. And kind of like my mental health worker Mallory said, all things kind of just come around. How bad is this really? What's the big picture? People are mostly doing the best they can to meet their needs and goals. And blaming only makes me feel helpless. What can I do to change the situation? So they're just some coping tools. And then why don't we just... And then if you're still angry, you can revisualize the whole anger scene again, doing some deep breathing. So if you want to turn off and do that again, if you need to, 
Otherwise, I'm going to just do three deep breaths, count to four in, hold four, and six counts out. So. so there's my anger meditation. I hope it was helpful. I want you to find a place of a calm and try to go about your day again until you want to use some of your coping tools again for your um, distortion, um, anger or distorted thoughts.